A millisecond. That's all it took. One glance away and the red leather case and everything it contained was gone. Gabby hadn't even caught a glimpse of the thief. Well, they'd be disappointed when they examined their booty. Sure, the case looked expensive, because it was a gift from that heady period last year. But all it held was Gabby's battered work iPad, bereft of any thief-friendly information, a sketchbook with a couple of scribbled and crossed-out pages but otherwise blank, and a new set of pencils her twin seven-year-old nieces had given her as a going-away present. The pencils were the only things she minded losing. Everything else was a reminder, a reproach, a refrain she could do without. Draining the last of her strong coffee, Gabby hoisted her backpack onto her shoulders and stood up. The Gare du Nord heaved with people going in all directions and echoed with loud, confusing announcements. On the Eurostar from London earlier that morning, she'd been warned by her chatty seat neighbour that this busy station was thief central and to keep an eye out. She'd nodded politely, thinking she'd hardly present a tempting target. Her backpack was ancient, and her passport, cards, and what cash she had were all stowed away in the money belt she carried under her jumper. The red leather case had clearly figured so little in her thoughts that she'd not even factored it in. And now, as she strode away from the station and out into the busy street, she felt as though it was a sign. Just as the case had vanished, so would her burden. Come on, get real, Gabby. The case might be gone, but the thing didn't disappear so easily. At that moment, she caught the startled eye of a passerby and realised that she'd spoken aloud. Oh, great. Talking aloud to yourself in public now. And imagining that a station thief was an instrument of fate. She could add those things to her growing shame parade, like telling her agent that she was taking a stand on digital distraction and would not only be turning off social media, but that she would not be reachable. Like telling her family that her local mobile number was only to be used for emergencies and on no account given to anyone else. Like not telling anyone what this trip was really about or what was really going on. Hiding, ducking, dodging, deceiving, pretending. The old Gabby would never have done any of that stuff.